are lucky to be able to do this again. As you can hear, it was, it's windy as hell. Absolutely mental, and if we are going up high later, it's gonna be even mentaler. <coughs> this is round by where we've done some wild camping in the past, which is really nice. Nice, really quiet little area, and this kind of meanders through to Cock and Skull Farm, which is all getting very familiar around here now because we've done a lot of walking around here. But... Cloudy fells in the distance. So we've just stopped for a bite to eat and we've got a nice little spot out of the wind and we thought we'd have to show you these. These are egg and chips flavoured crisps. So I picked them up in a farm shop. 
a while ago and we've not been brave enough yet. We're going to dig on in and see what egg and chip flavour crisps are like because we're both quite intrigued. So, get hold of one. Oh, you got the egg. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> They're weird, are <laughs> They're really strange. They are egg and chips. Like a bit of salt and vinegar, maybe, on the chips. Mm. Well, there's our new thing. Crisp reviewing. <laughs> so, what would you give them? Um, You're not sure, right? <laughs> I, I'm confused. I don't know. I can't decide. Um, I'm going to give them... A 7.7. 7. That's high. The nice. I mean, there's loads of flavour there. It's just quite weird. Meat in the middle. 7.5. 7.5. I would have said like 7. Okay, we'll go for 7.5 on the, uh, the egg and chips crisps. So, if anybody out there, any of our massive followers, has got any outrageous crisps they want to send us to review, bring it on. Just finished lunch in time because the rain started. Uh, and she still wants to head up onto, well, we were thinking of Bloweth Knot, which is kind of up over them ways. It's not massive, but it's going to be exposed up there. But it's going to be uh, pretty inclement. But still, might give it a go. Oh. Check that out. Oh, nice. That looks like it's about 300 years old. How cool is that? That's seen some laughs. So, yeah, next stop up high. So we made it down alive off 
floweth not. It was absolutely mental up there. Uh, and we were going to head back in, but we thought, well, it's still light. Uh, so we'll extend things a little bit. And we are... Uh, we've been uh, missing it. So we're down here at Tomstead's. And we've got some nice little man-made ponds here. At the back of their house. Lovely house. And this will take us round the back of Latterig Fell, which is just ahead of us there. Uh, and we can go... Yeah, into woodland. We can go up and over. Yeah, we've seen deer around here loads of times, but we'll keep our eyes peeled. And if we're lucky... So we have come round through the woods at the back of Latterig. And it's been wind, rain, sunshine, a bit of everything. <laughs> Guys over there are a bit mad. Lamoon. Wind's picking up here though, we're down on the valley floor now. Yeah. Heading on back for the last climb. Back to the digs. Yeah. ourselves a nice little bench. So we're going to have a cheeky little drink. We're going to enjoy the view and the apocalyptic sky. So we have arrived back at the digs. I will have to show you the digs because it's way cool. This is the little mini cosy cabin, as they call it, with its runway landing lights. We'll head on in and have a little look. Got some great views down into the valley and over to the fells on the other side from the decking. Let's have a quick look in, hey? All proper big thick logs. A bit messy with the kit at the moment, but kitchen area there, with everything you need. And a log burner, which is really good. All bespoke units, solid yeah. wood to fit. The bench Handmade little built. bench seat. Just... And a cool little it's hobbit good. hole into the bedroom. And because it didn't have a bathroom, he's only gone and built from scratch on the side. Top notch bathroom, underfloor heating, roll top bath. So, yeah, pretty cool place to stay. So, for now, That's us signing off. Time, to crack open Time for some vino. Until next time.